this is Utopia Langley with She's Got Flavor.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a juicy, cheesy, old bay corn on a cob. And I know that it was a long name, but believe me, every word meant something because this is so delicious. I didn't want to leave anything out. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take these corn on the cobs and you see these are fresh corn on the cob. Don't do this with the frozen, please. So you're gonna take this, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna shuck. And all you're doing is pulling the exterior off. That's all shucking means. And you're gonna to toss that. And once you do that for all your corn, then you're just gonna clean it up real good. And then we're gonna drop it into this big pan of water. That's all you need is water. And then we are gonna come back and take it to the next step. Thank you. Hey guys, we're back and we had our corn on the cob. And by the way, I put a top on this, okay? And it's been boiling for about 12 to 14 minutes and it's nice and ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. You see my timer went off, so let me cut that off. I am a woman who is a firm believer in timers. Um, so before we take our corn on the cob out, we're gonna make our quick butter sauce. Um, so this is just some unsalted butter that I melted in the microwave. And then all I'm gonna to add to this is some crushed garlic, some sea salt, and some fresh cilantro. So we'll go ahead and add our crushed garlic really quick. And you can crush your own if you don't have any that is you know, pre-crushed. But I love the, the fact that this is pre-crushed. And all of the uh, recipe, measurements and such guys are going to be on she's got flavor.com so you can go and take a look at that and then of course um, i'll put a link below this video so that you can see that all right so i added my crushed garlic my sea salt now i'm just going to add some fresh cilantro and then all i'm going to do is stir it up Okay, all right. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this stuff out of my way. Okay, and then I am going to bring an aluminum pan over. And you can use a small one. I only have uh, five corn on the cobs, but I like to use a large one because once you put the butter on it, I like to kind of roll it around in the butter. So you're just gonna put all of your corn on the cobs, drain, drain the water, let the water drain off. Just drop them into your pan and it's okay if a little bit of water gets in the pan, it's just making it more juicy, so that's fine. All right, so these babies are nice and hot. Okay, brush up the pot. And so all I'm gonna do from here is I am going to, you can either just pour this all over or you can brush it. I'm gonna do a combination. So first I'm just gonna brush the corn with this butter sauce. And it's delicious guys, oh my goodness. This fresh corn is juicy on its own, but when you top it with this butter, oh my goodness, Lord have mercy. All right, so then once I give it a nice brushing, then I'm just gonna take the remainder and pour it all over. Now, if you are watching your butter intake, by all means, you don't have to use as much as I'm using, but if you want that super juicy flavor, then that's what you do. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna add is I'm gonna sprinkle some Old Bay, and believe it or not, People, people are like, oh, bay, that's for seafood. But trust me, <laughs> it's so delicious. And actually, I have one of my mac and cheese recipes uses old bay. So check that out on my YouTube channel as well. All right, so then I'm just going to sprinkle it with some good old bay. Let it get all around. Okay. Nice and juicy. And be careful when you're moving the um, corn on the cob because it is still hot, guys. But as you can see, I have on some gloves, so it's protecting me a little bit. But you can also use your tongs when you're doing this. 
All right, so now that it's nice and seasoned up, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top it with some grated Parmesan cheese. And make sure it's grated, guys. You don't want the shredded or anything else. You want the grated. And so I'm gonna top it with the cheese. Oh, Lord, this looks so good. Yes. All right, so from here, it's time to plate this and taste this. And I will be right back to do my mini mukbang so you guys can see how juicy this corn is and how much, how wonderful it tastes. Be right back. Hey guys, it's Utopia, and this is the finished product. It is juicy, it is cheesy, it has that Old Bay flavor and it has the garlic butter. So now it's time for me to do the mini mukbang and taste this. You ready guys? I'm so excited. Look at all that cheese and that cilantro. All right, here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my God, mmm. That butter, that cheese. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, she's got flavor, baby. Mmm. Go to the blue block, food blog. <laughs> She's got flavor.com. Try this recipe. You will not regret it. She's got flavor. We'll oh. see you later. Bye bye.